Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth Elman. Welcome back to a another video. As you can see, I am back in Star Trek Online. And uh, I thought that uh, I can't, I'm kind of getting into this game. So uh, this time around, uh, I've got some more keys. We're going to open up some more of these lock boxes and see what I get from them. But um, I thought this week I'll just play a bit of uh, Star Trek Online. Obviously, the episodes will probably thin out later on. Uh, as I go through the game, but one thing I did have in mind is I'm going to go through the missions uh, At least the starting missions. Uh, I would ideally like to do all of the missions and kind of record them as a playthrough I'll do sort of stuff uh, all sorts of stuff in the background off camera uh, But I think for now. I'm just gonna focus heavily on the missions just because there is a bit of storytelling in it and personally, I kind of like the game. This is, as I said, a game that was kind of close to my heart. I grew up playing with it. I played it a lot. Uh, so much so that I actually bought the Lifetime subscription. So, uh, let's get into these boxes, see what I got. I mean, I don't really know half of the stuff that I'm getting here. What, they, what it is, what it does, what its value is. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm just opening up stuff. Now, I did read that there is potentially a possibility of getting a ship out of these boxes. Uh, that would be nice if I got it, but I didn't. I got some uh, some of these consoles right here, which I don't know what they do. Um, I'm going to have to look up at the price uh, at the exchange, see what I can get for them if I don't need them. Of course, if I do need them, I will keep them. So that is the way things will work out. For now, I'm just going to move them to uh, the side here just to pretty much keep them out of sight. What is that? Let's move that there somewhere. i um, going to put it there for now I mean as you can see I am kind of struggling with uh, inventory space right now uh, we'll do that I kind of like things to be organized just because it's easier to find it when I'm looking for so as you can see this is what I've got in terms of space in my inventory so with that done I think I'm finished here uh, I'm gonna use this one kind of want to get the Spock hologram just because joint all right so we can rename him. I don't think we can do anything else to him. That kind of sucks. Uh, plus he's a hologram. Uh, I hope he doesn't have the little holographic animation. Because otherwise I will dismiss him. Uh, let's have a look over here. So I have one more officer uh, a slot available in my thing. I could probably purchase more. And that's something probably uh, that I'll end up doing at some point later on in the game. Now, um, initially what I'm after is rare and unique uh, officers that can... Uh, give me unique specialties abilities, but also that look uh, unique So I've got a couple of officers here that I cannot customize which is a bit annoying uh, So like I don't think I can customize this character right here. I had a look uh, Sucks, but I would like to kind of customize her and do some stuff. I wouldn't have necessarily changed the outfit I think the outfit is pretty unique, so I would have kept that but hey ho it is what it is um but yeah, generally what I'd like to try and get is uh, unique and custom officers uh, that aren't really easy to find or obtain. So with that said and done, uh, let's carry on with the Star next Fleet mission. We're going to do this. Contact with the Federation Science Station in the Kasei system. Because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. It may be that the communications array is in need of repair. Please make the necessary repairs to the communications array and re-establish contact with the science station. All right, well, that sounds easy enough, so let's get into that. That is, uh, obviously, we're following the chain quest right here, mission, log, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I could transwarp, but I'm not going to transwarp. I'm just going to fly there. Uh, I just like to look at the environment. I just... I like to imagine what this would be like just to travel in space in a ship not just not 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 this ship specifically but just the ship in general this looks freaking amazing um <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on and i do like the galaxy in the background that is freaking cool i like it so much i mean bear in mind this is what now 10 years old the game so it is a fairly old game it is a good game and uh oh nice so we've got a little nebula going on right there. That's pretty neat. I mean, honestly, I think one thing that I would have liked is if the travel distance was a bit longer, if the galaxy was a bit larger, if that makes sense. It does feel like the galaxy is pretty darn small. Um, 
Like, yeah, see the planet and all that. I would have liked that to be a bit larger to make it feel more epic. How far do we need to go? Okay, we're not that far. Uh, fair enough. I mean, yeah. I think that would have been totally cool. Right, there we go. We want to be up here. Whoop, we'll go too far. Reverse. Uh, that'll do. Perfect right there. Let's get on it. Researcher Rescue. So this is the mission. Alright, we have to fight some stuff. So let's get our fighters out. And slowly approach. That should give us enough time for the cooldown to go away. And we can start uh, going into combat with our wonderful ship. Okay, we're getting close. Alright. Come on. Come on, cool down. There we go. Perfect. I'm happy with it now. Let's start buffing ourselves. And in we go. That ability takes a long time to charge, but does a ridiculous amount of damage. Oof. That hurt. <laughs> I do like that ability. That is so freaking cool. So, yeah. On my ship, I have focused on... I think I've got a 90 degree firing arc. So, I've got the dual beams and I've got the cannons that do... Or, or on the back, that do a 360. So, the cannons just kind of constantly tag things. I don't uh, intend to have enemies behind me. Uh, I will most often be facing them. So, that is the plan. And so, therefore, I want the most damage to come from in front of me. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, that is the way I built up my ship. Now, of course, I can fight on the sideways if I do the... Uh, I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, but there are beams that uh, have... I don't know, something like 160 a degree arc. So, you can have them overlapping. The first sign of trouble when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts we spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires. Okay. The Gorn, well. They just stormed in and started shooting. The Gorn have extremely... I wish you didn't do that. Lives. Thousands of years ago, the Gorn hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, that means these planets are still theirs. The alliance with the Klingons has inspired the Gorn to start rebuilding their empire. Every planet from here to Cestus III is in danger. You don't say. <laughs> Not everyone. Oh. There are several okay. members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that. So, yeah, I think Coming what I'm going to do just for fun. Oh, you, all right, fine. And I know you can come project. with me. I don't know it, but I'll find my way around it. Uh, so, as I was saying, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all of the episodes with this character. That's the plan going forward. Um, if you guys want me to start a fresh character, I can do that. But I already have a few characters, so it's uh, it, it's kind of difficult to play with all of them, if that makes sense. Um, right, we have a fire suppression thing. I don't know where it is, but we will need it. Um, I'm not sure if I need to equip it or what. But it's not in my inventory. It should be here, but it's not here. Huh. Interesting. That's well interesting. Right, first things first. I need to rearrange the hood. Uh, there we go. I can now see my buffs, which is what I wanted to see in the first place anyways. Um, right, okay. So, I'm guessing you just walk up to the fire and press F to interact with it to turn it off. Put it out. Uh, I can't see... The fire suppression thing. Basically a fire extinguisher. Where or where is it? Nope. I need to thin out stuff in my inventory. I have too many things that I'm carrying with me. Limiting the amount of stuff that I can actually loot. I do think I also have expanded my inventory. I think. I know I've done that for the account. Uh, the account? Yeah. 
the the inventory that goes across the entire account because there is a bank uh, that does go across the whole account I'm going to expand that to its maximum eventually because that's where I store all of my credits uh, as well as things that I may potentially want to use on other characters yeah so it's quite simple you just walk up to the fire and point and shoot basically press F <laughs> go on I saw you there I saw you hiding get back here Oh, you hit me. Oh, you got me. Oh, dude. So many of you. I'm going to try and hit a couple of them across the face with my staff. Oh, wow. What's going on here? All right. Do I need to tag you or something? Come on. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. There's not really a, a key to tell me to interact with the guys, but according to the journal, diary, whatever you want to call it, I still need to tag them to uh, teleport them out, uh, beam them out, whatever. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's put out this fire. Okay, we've got problems right there. Let's sort these guys out. Uh, give them a little tag right there. Oh, you're coming. Yo, back off, son. Right across the fire. <laughs> that was cool. All right. It's a good thing I didn't put out the fire. Okay. Let's put it out now. Alright, and we pick this up, and we pick you up, well, kind of beam you to the ship, is there anything I can loot from here? I will take everything that I can take because I will break it down for the R&D parts that I will so much need. Uh, oh, we got this right there, might as well scan this, see if I can remember how to do this, and like so, perfect, look at that. Grab that. Anything else? Nope. Oh, right. Okay. We're going this way then. And I think I'm taking damage from the fire. Very interesting. <laughs> These kinds of raids are the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. Right. So basically, the way they reclaim their identity uh, through uh, for their history or whatever is by burning it down. Brilliant. That's one way to reclaim your identity. Just burn it down. Because according to what you said before, they set the fire. Ooh, that's a big lizard right there. Oh, he's going to come this way, isn't he? So I might as well start putting down some stuff to help us out. We want some heals and some... Oh, things are coming my way. Right-ho. Uh, ooh. Can you just stop talking? Whoop, he's going to throw something at me. I should duck. Okay, so he hit the, the shield. Okay, so the leader shape shifter. I'm, 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 f I'm guessing you're referring to the Undine. We place down some mines just to protect our stuff. Dude, he is big. I wouldn't mind having that guy on my team. Although, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to have tails. It would be nice if they had a tail. Ooh, something's happening. So we'll pick these up. See, all of these things that I'm picking up are actually lesser than what I already have. Now, I think there's a thing where you can upgrade weapons and stuff, but they're still lesser. I've got uh, rare and very rare quality weapons anyways. Um, right, there's people up there. Uh, I'm going to go and put up the fires, just because I'm nice like that. And here's the hoping that I don't aggro these guys. Okay. Go around this way. Stay well uh, far away from them. We don't want to be fighting them just yet. So once you use the thing, the fire suppressor on it, uh, on the fire, of course, you can then walk through it because you don't burn. So basically there's an animation there that doesn't do damage anymore is what I'm getting at. There we go. Put that out right there. See, protecting all of your hard work and research right here. I'm going above and beyond. Look at that. All fires put out. Oh, well, almost. Ooh, there's a crate right here, so let's loot this bad boy. What are we getting? Okay, nothing useful. I mean, I suppose I'll sell it for credit. And we put this out. We don't really want to be in the fire as we put it out. It would help a great deal. All right. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to fight you before I put the fire out, aren't I? 
Whoa, that was a big jump right there, buddy. Right, come on. See, it's interesting. Oh, right, so you ran through fire. That's, uh, I was going to say that it seems like they don't want to run through fire. Okay, he's coming right this way. And down you go, son. Let's put this out. I'm not sure what that smoke is every time I kill a Gorn. That's some sort of an ability, some sort of a cloak, some sort of a, what do you call it, um, smoke grenade. Alright, let me put the fire out. Stop. There we go. Don't talk to me. I'm busy. <laughs> right, okay, fine. Jeez. So we're going to Kasei 4 now. Let's uh, let's go and uh, help that other research team out. Who knows? Oh, there we go. We're under attack, sort of, or will be. I do love the ship, though. It's big. It's bulky. It's slow, but I don't know. I like it. So my. My choice is either between... Well, saying that, though, I have a ship in my inventory that I would love to try. It is a modified or adapted Tal Shiar ship. I think that'd be cool, because you can have cloak on it. I do like that ability. There aren't very many Federation ships that cloak. Although, I think you can use the Tal Shiar ships now, can't you? Or at least I can see them in uh, the shipyard where you can buy them. Uh, with that said and done, though, I don't really have any slots because I've, from what I've seen, uh, I've actually filled them up with a unique ships. So I do have a ton of ships on this character. And, uh, well, I can download the Odyssey class. I don't want to. Um, so I've got an Odyssey. 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 I butchered that name. Odyssey class uh, starship, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's, uh,. A bit more aerodynamic than the Enterprise uh, class. Of several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield dome. The Gorn probably came in and took over everything. If we disable the shield generators, we may be able to get inside and rescue the other archaeologists. Look up. You can see the shield generator beam. We can follow those to find the controllers and turn off the system. Okay, right. Firstly, she looks like a Cardassian. Secondly, why would you put the generators outside of the shield? Because that makes a lot of sense. You might want to put them inside the shield next time. Just, just a thought, you know, makes it a bit more difficult, makes the shield more efficient, effective. Just a thought, you know. I mean, you, you, you would think in this... Uh, sort of technology they would have thought of that <laughs> that's fine I can do my job so I'm not complaining right oh uh, we need to interact with this and we'll do this the team here found remnants of a precursor civilization that may be a relative of the gore one thing they need to work on is uh, on uh, when these dialogues take place, uh, they do tend to be one on top of the other, so maybe they could space it out. Okay. Dude, you talk a lot. <laughs> right. Can I go through these? Nope. Okay, that's just not going to happen, is it? I was hoping to shortcut through the bushes. Okay, so I can go through some bushes, just not very thick bushes. I, I suppose that makes sense. It just feels like I'm hitting a hard wall, though. Like, this totally makes sense. You know, have your, uh, basically, power source for the shield on the outside of the shield. Because that's going to protect you. <laughs> right. Let's do this. Spawn in some stuff. Start shooting some things. Shield and face in front. That's what I meant to say. Kill some Gorn. Because they want their land back and uh, we're doing experiments and digging up their land. 
And that's what the Federation does. Oh, there's a thing going on there. I don't want to be there. Normally red uh, things on the ground mean bad things are going to happen. So let's not be there. <laughs> All right, we're doing this. More fluctuations. Increase the power to the shields. What are they increasing the power to the shields from? I'm taking them down. <laughs> I mean, can I not see the beams going down? Like, from out there, you can definitely see the beams going to the shield. Not very bright these going, are they? Alright. Yeah, they, they didn't see me walk past the door. Or the doorway, actually. Because it doesn't have a door, it's just a dome. Okay. And we'll go through the water. And uh, we're going to fight some stuff again. Uh, let's spawn in some things right now before we get all physical right now. Got a shield to hide behind just in case I need to. And let's attack. Alright, we're going to need a shield generator right now. We're going to need a turret. Things are coming my way. I don't want them to be here. Whoa, down boy. Get yourself down. Came a bit. Ooh, ooh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, that was bad. That's bad. It's gonna get bad. Okay. So the um, whatever her face is, is just stood in the middle of an explosion. Nothing happened to her. Didn't move around. All right. I don't know why you're trying to climb on the shield, but hey ho. You know, different strokes for different folks. Let's carry on with this. Right, and there we go. The protective shields are down. Incompetent fools. <laughs> wow, that made lots of sense. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go and uh, clean out the other Gordon in there. I'm guessing that's what the game wants me to do. As far as I can remember or suspect. Uh, buff ourselves up from the Tribble. And we go this way. Okay, so, we have a big guy right there. We'll put a shield right here. Uh, that should help us get some cover. We want a turret right here. Please don't start shooting. Yeah, let me set up my camp. We want nice health generation right here. And then we want a shield gen, maybe. Yeah, that'll keep me alive. All right, let's go for it. I mean, I can always place down a shield uh, generator should I need to, but at the moment I'm doing all right. Dude, you are huge. He's going to pick up a rock now. Oh, I'm going to hide right here. Thank you. And that's how you do it. He's kind of slow, though. Whoa. He's picking up another rock. Where's he throwing it? Uh, I'm going to... Oof. I think I dodged that just. <laughs> He's got a lot of hit points as well. Don't know, maybe on their ship. Let's go see what they wanted from here. What we can get as well. Well, that looks pretty. I mean, uh, a lot of uh, useless space, if I... If I do say so myself, I don't see the purpose of this giant dome. Just for a couple of crates. No and we beam up. Now. You are meddling in affairs you do not understand. Alright, so I kind of skipped that one. I'm also thinking about time. We do have to consider that. I don't want to make the video unnecessarily long. There we go. Go on. Let's blast that fool. There we go. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Wonderful. All right. Aha, so he had the scientists, and that's pretty much it. Well, we completed that one. 
All right, so we now await a call from Starfleet to tell us what a good job we did and how amazing we actually are. If not, I'll just call them. <laughs> if the archaeological sites in the Kasei system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus what the Gorn claim to be their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Well, that is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have we just have subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guide you on this channel? Who knows, you might just We're enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so they get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, so stay safe, folks. Sign on to the task force